Today I'll be talking about an interactive dialogue system that you can implement in your level. For this I've created a blueprint from a static mesh actor, the bush. And if you go into this, we can see that in the event graph, we have uh, every time the player overlaps with this sphere uh, and presses the key E, this gate will open and it will fire off this event. After this, what I've done is I've created a child blueprint class from this blueprint so that the child will inherit the functional properties of this blueprint and I can make several copies of the same blueprint. In this blueprint, if we go in and see that, uh, we can see that when the player presses E, uh, you can see here that it's firing off this event, which is actually triggering this. Uh, so every time the player presses E, it will do this once, it will branch off from here. I've put a boolean condition here, whether or not the player will has got the fern, we'll look into this later. And depending on that condition, it's going into two different branches. Uh, initially, the player doesn't have the fern, so it's going to trigger a couple of lines here. We want some alternation to these lines. so. Uh, initially it's going to trigger this um, and I'm going to set another boolean condition if this line has been spoken then from here if it's true it's going to branch off to this which is going to give an alternate line of this line and I've done the same for the line 2 here uh, what this bind event on audio finish does is that it won't trigger a different line till this line is actually spoken fully so that you know we don't have multiple lines being spoken at once this is the fern blueprint so basically what this is doing is uh, the player overlaps with it presses E uh, it will play a sound, it will destroy the actor and it will set this got fern condition in this blueprint. Now the way to uh, do this intercommunication between two blueprints is by adding a variable here and uh, selecting the in the variable type you can type the name of the blueprint and then select that one that object reference here so basically you'll be able to interact between the two blueprints that's it for today 